Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we are finishing out this two part video of me trying to put decals, branding, painting, logos, whatever you want to call it on my trailer. I'm just trying to get some logo slash decals on there to just get pretty much not free advertising because I have to pay for the stencils and the paint. But after that, it's free. I don't have to continually pay for it. It's just going to be branded on my trailer. So every time I rent that trailer out, I can have rent me right on the front. So when people drive by, they can see it with my number right under it. And then maybe on the sides, I'll put junk removal. So when I'm driving around, people see junk removal on the side and then my phone number, or I might just leave the sides blank because I kind of want to like go to one of those sign shops and get like a legit sign made, even though those are probably gonna be like a hundred dollars a side. Still, if I actually have elite hauling, like printed on there the right way with my color scheme, the red and white. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this little dumpster next to the elite hauling or not anymore, just because my dumpsters aren't red, they're black. And I don't know if I'm ever even gonna be able to get my hands on a red dumpster unless I get it new. Cause the odds of me finding one on Facebook marketplace or wherever I get my next dumpster and it being red are pretty slim. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this little red dumpster in the logo anymore when it comes to making my sign for my trailer. I don't know, I like it cause like then if I'm, if I ever get like full time in the dumpster rental and just as much as I do junk removal, like so it's a 50-50 split or hopefully one day almost more dumpster rentals because that's so much easier and it'd be way easier to hire employees. Uh, this looks good on my logo because if I'm doing dumpster rentals and there's a dumpster in the logo and it just fits well. Anyways, but we're at the scrap yard. I'm gonna dump this uh, scrap off. Then we're gonna go to Home Depot, get some paint because I already got the stencils in from Amazon. They're sitting at the house right now and the little numbers. You just need white paint. So when we stick the stencils on, we just hit it with white paint. Hopefully it doesn't leak or anything. I'm gonna try to line them up perfectly, get a level and stuff this time. If I can find a level, if not, I'm just gonna use a two by four and try to make it look straight. Maybe butt it up against the top so it's at least level with that. And then tape them on and go at it with some spray paint and see how it looks. I really hope it looks good because I need some branding on my trailers. The advertisement being wasted when I'm not doing it and I could be losing a lot of business, especially when these dumpsters are sitting in people's driveways. I'm sure I'd be getting more phone calls if my dumpsters had logoing on them and stuff and saying like, Especially if it says rent me right on the front and someone needs it and they see it in their own neighborhood They're gonna definitely call that person and see what kind of pricing they have and me with my being a wooden dumpster still Pretty much just a landscaping trailer converted. My prices are very reasonable I don't do really like week rentals or anything because I need my trailer. I just do 24 and 48 hours I've been doing anywhere from 150 to 170 for 24 hours depending on how far they are and then $200 for 48 hours and I've done one three day like I told you guys in the last video 50 extra dollars for an extra day So that was 250 for three days, which is not bad I mean dump fees are not a lot at all each time I go they're anywhere from 20 to 40 being expensive 40 is like the most I've ever paid and if I'm paying 40 that means my trailers overloaded in the first place and it shouldn't ever be that high but some people don't listen. Some people just slam as much stuff in there as they can get. Home Depot, then back to the house, set these stencils up and see if we can get something rolling here. So see you there. All right, we got everything set up here. Our paint cans, we got these super cheap ones. Literally, I think they're like $1.50 a piece. Got three of those just cause. Literally three of these was the same price as one like regular can of paint. These are just drastically cheaper. So if you have these at your Home Depot, look for them. I really don't think the paint quality matters that much. Uh, masking tape to just try to set a leveling line and centering line and stuff. The stencils, I already ripped one. So you can see the letter right there. That part hanging up, that's gonna be taped or something. <clears throat> level, I don't even know how we're gonna let, make it level. Somehow I'm gonna have to like try to follow the tape along that level because I can't just draw a line because the letters are gonna be touching it and I don't know how I'm gonna clean that up later and I don't really feel like it. I'm just gonna try to set a tape line that I could peel off at the end. <clears throat> and then the littler stencils that are just numbers for the phone number under the rent me. So I'm gonna try to eyeball this out, set it up. Uh, you can literally tell where I painted over because the paint's a different kind of finish. It's not matte like the trailer, it's glossy, so that's annoying. Once I get rent me over that, it's not gonna be as obvious. But yeah, I'm gonna try to level out this tape and then once I get it on there, let you know how I did it and all that jazz, so. The plan is, um, I'm gonna line this up and measure out how long the actual decal is gonna be. But the nice thing about these is they have these little holes that you line up to make sure that the bottom's lined up. So all I have to really do is make sure the top is like even because the bottom has a marker for it. So that's perfect. I don't know why the top's not like that. I wish they had the little holes at the top too. So I could just 
line up all the holes and know it's perfect, but whatever. And then this is the M and this is where me is gonna start, but obviously the package doesn't come with two E's. It only comes with one, so I'm gonna have to reuse this E. But I'm just gonna measure out how long each one of these is and add it onto the end over here and take that total, measure that and just try to center it. That's the plan. All right, so this sign laid out how I want it and the, even the little space between rent and me. Total is about 60 inches. It was like 60.5, but we're just gonna round to the nearest. And, and then that space between, like between here to there is exactly 68. Now we gotta take a few inches off each side, center it. And I just used a level to draw this black line that you could barely see. So it's not an issue when it's done, it won't even be noticeable. All right, well, real quick explanation. Hopefully you can see this right here, can you? Okay, whatever, there's a, there's a mark here with permanent marker on the tape that's four inches from this corner. Same over here. And why I did that was because the sign is 60 inches and the total length between this two by four and that two by four is 68. So I just took four inches off each side, measured in on the tape, four inches on each side. And that'll give us this space right here is 60 inches. So it should be centered, hopefully. <laughs> now I'm gonna roll the tape up and try to stick them, so. Um, looks pretty even to me. These little holes at the bottom really help. You can tell they're lined up when you can see black through the holes. So obviously that means the holes are going all the way through. I'm probably gonna tape the bottom just so they're flat and there's no leaks. And then when I'm done with that E, I'm obviously gonna have to peel that up and put it over here, but I already marked. It's gonna fit perfectly and go right to this line, that E, hopefully. I mean, if it's a few inches off, no one's gonna notice. This should look 10 times better than that BS we did last week. <laughs> All right, it's all taped up. You're spray painting. All right. Um, <laughs> there's definitely some overspray. I'm going to have to clean up some areas with black paint at the end. I was trying to come like spray far back so it didn't leak behind the stencils if I got super close and I didn't want it to drip. But as you can see, I'm definitely over spraying the tape and I'm gonna have to come back over with some black paint at the end probably, but that's fine. As long as the letters look good, I'm fine with having to clean up the overspray at the end. I just want the letters to look somewhat clean. If I have to go back over with a brush because they're not perfectly straight, I might. I still think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then probably do another coat. So far, so good, I wanna say. I don't know, we'll see. All right, time to move the E down there. Let's peel the back a little bit. Not too bad. That is one letter E done. There's some overspray, it's not perfect. It's not too bad, not too bad. Now you gotta move the E over here. All right, we got the E moved over. Um, I'm just gonna play this one in normal speed, not time-lapse, so you guys can see actually how long it takes to do like one letter. Still on the first can of paint, by the way. Three cans is a little bit of an overkill, but at least I have them for touch-ups or if I want to do the side with junk removal or something. But anyways. Oh my. Okay, I forgot. I'm not supposed to be overspraying. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm hitting it from like here and trying to not overspray as much as possible. I could probably tape all this off. All right, well, the video cut off right before I started doing the E. But anyways, it doesn't take long. I kind of hit it kind of close, but not too close like this where the paint's going to run behind the lettering and drip. But you don't want to be too far like when you're painting a bicycle frame or something or like a rim of a car where you go over it with a bunch of different coats from far away because that's just gonna take too long. It's a, then it's a trailer. Doesn't need to be perfect, but you just don't want it to be too close to where it runs behind the lettering. So I've been doing it like this. That was the second coat, and that's pretty much how long it takes to do one letter. All right, so this is what it's looking like after I peel the stencils and tape off. Obviously, it needs some touching up. I'm gonna have to go around and roll all this overspray off so it's not like, looks like crap, obviously, right now. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just, there is some overspray. I'm gonna have to come back here with some touching up tools and square up these edges a little bit more where it's bad, obviously. Not too bad. I'm gonna touch this up and then show you guys what it's looking like after that.
All right, so after I rolled around and covered most of the overspray, it's looking way better. It's at least looking presentable now. Like I could drive around with this on the trailer and not be embarrassed because that hand painted crap we had on there last week is definitely terrible. And I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Now all we have to do is do the numbers and these are different kinds of stencils or plastic. So I'm hoping they lay flatter and there's less, less overspray. And I might try to use that thing to my advantage this time. Try to prevent obviously overspray so I don't have to go back over with black paint and touch it up like I did with the rent me part. Hopefully I can get to do the numbers perfectly. All right, now that I'm starting on the numbers, I'm realizing that this is gonna be pretty difficult just because I'm gonna have to reuse the same numbers a lot and the stencil pack only comes with one of each number. So let's hope this turns out decent at least. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video up in my room with the uh, good microphone and stuff and just show you guys what the trailer's looking like. This is what it's looking like. And the reason I have the numbers covered up and why I didn't finish doing the numbers on camera is just in case this video goes super viral for some reason. I just don't need my business number on my YouTube channel. It's just like if this video got 100,000 views, I'm sure I'd have 10 people a day texting my business number, calling it, trying to ask questions. And I want that to be specifically for business. But if you do want to reach out to me, I would recommend just commenting below. But if you want to talk to me personally, DM me on Instagram or my business email. I'll have both of those linked below. But anyways, with that out of the way, um, throw it up again real quick. It looks good. I would say seven out of 10. It's not perfect, but it's presentable, especially when you're standing like 10 feet away or farther, you can't tell if there's any, really any mess ups at all. It looks good. Um, I don't expect anyone to really walk up right on it. Even that, that picture was like probably like eight feet away. That's still really close. I don't see why people would be really right up on the trailer unless they're like passing it in a parking lot or something at Winn-Dixie, but I don't know why I would be at Winn-Dixie with my trailer. It's mainly for people driving by in neighborhoods and just being able to see it when they drive by. It looks good. It's good enough. I'm happy with it. Definitely saved a lot of money. A sign that size on the front of the trailer like that with my phone number and rent me on it probably would have been anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks if I went to a, one of those sign stores and had them make it for me. And then I would have had to get screws and drill it into the front. And then there would have been holes in the trailer in the wood. And it would have just been another spot for water to leak in and stuff like that. Water logged the wood. I don't know if this route is the best route, but it's definitely better than the hand painting route. It's just as good as pretty much sticking stickers on there because once I go over and clean it all up and make it look perfect if i do want to do that the, the way i was going to do that i was thinking about like taping off all the white letters and the numbers and then just hitting it with black paint so it's like perfect but i don't know if i'm going to do that you really can't tell there's that much overspray from a distance like i already said but anyways don't want this outro to be too long i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button for me i hope it wasn't too boring and if you have a question or comment or if i skipped over something definitely just comment below and yeah that's all i got for this video and i'll see you guys next one peace